Hello, everybody. I'd like to spend a little time today and uh, take a look inside the 3D product architect, specifically the product structure editor. Within the product structure editor, we have the ability to expose information through what we call view panes. And I'd like to look at what we can do with, these, with, this, uh, with this particular functionality. There's two view panes. To the left, we have a view pane that allows us to see the root structures that are, that are exposed in the current section of the product structure editor window. And to the right, we have a, a second view pane that can be toggled on and off that allows us to expose specific information or capabilities of a particular product that we have selected inside the product structure editor. In addition, these, all these various capabilities that we can expose are divided into specific types, and we'll look at each of these types in a moment. With the view panes exposed, we also have the ability to move information more freely by drag and drop between the view panes as well as within 3D search and the product structure window itself. Let's take a look at how this looks in the system. Here we're looking at the drone. Let's turn on the uh, root list on the left and we can see that we, we have the structure. But once we have this root list active, what we could do is, for example, pick another structure inside this particular assembly. I'm going to expose it with the focus on command so I can find it. Once I do that, I can just drag it into the root list and add it to a quick list of objects I want to work with. I'm also going to do a quick search on the gearbox, just something out in the system itself that I want to bring in. Possibly I want to cannibalize or grab some parts from these, this other assembly and use it and work in a single session. That might be a good example of why I'd want to bring multiple routes into one environment. Now what we can do, let's uh, go in here and uh, focus in on just one of these. We can see we can just focus in on any one of these using just visibility toggles and get quickly to this gearbox structure. We can also use the root list as a sub source here. I can drag it to another dashboard application, say for example, the uh, uh, product release. Let's go back and turn off, uh, we'll get rid of these other root lists and just focus back in on the drone here now. And with that information turned off, what we could also do is turn on a, the right view pane. Now it's initially it's looking at the full drone, that's what's selected. We can see the properties, where, who we're sharing it with, whether it's active in change. We can also add comments, which are available to anybody that touches this particular vision of the product. And I can also dra drive, a drive a justification message directly to a user for a change so he gets it in his justification. And that will immediately appear for this gentleman. And next, I can look at relationships. And this relations app is embedded directly. I can use it as a source to add more things to the root list that I want to maybe thumb through. I can also use a launch directly from here into the full relations tool. If I want to see the full graphical interface that's available to me within the full relations application, this too can be a source of information. I can drag and drop to other applications in the dashboard as well. So with that information, let's return to the, uh, the, the product structure editor. There's also the ability to do revisions. Now, as these menus get longer, you can see that I can access them either across the top or through a combo list. Let's launch the revision command here. And for this example, let's select something in the structure that we possibly want to do a revision or branch against. We'll do this tote motor uh, access holder. And we look at the capability, the, the, the commands, choices we can make. We'll do a new branch in this case, as opposed to a new revision. And we'll say, let's just say we'll do a design study for, you know, a more flexible mount. When we do that, of course, the report here in the view pane will indicate the new branch as opposed to a new revision visually. And it also adds it to the root list. So we immediately can start working with that new structure. We also can add documentation such as specifications. So I'll go out here to 3D, you know, 3D search. I can locate documents and simply drag them into the specifications tab within the view pane. The same would be true of attachments, of course. And lastly, we have derived output. Now there's none, this of course could be automated as well, but if you want to create ad hoc derived output, you can select individual ones that are available for this type. It's only giving me the CATIA ones because that's the type or multiple ones. 
They go into a job and are added to the uh, job list and I get a notification as you see. If I refresh the list, I see what jobs are currently on the list to be processed. They're all in process currently. And when they're completed, I have the ability to download that information. So I just this gives you just a quick idea of what these two specific uh, buttons can do. There's a lot sometimes embedded under a single command and the view panes give you a numerous capabilities of what you can do within the platform. Uh, specifically in the 3D product architect role of products in the app product structure editor. All this information is useful and it allows you to make better use of the 3D product architect in your daily use. Thank you.